What do you have? I don't know if I want to do this video, but I found something in Whole Foods and we're going to review it. We've got some zero sugar milk and this is an almond milk. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So I went to Whole Foods to return something to Amazon and I'm like, we need milk to make our yogurt. Yep. And they don't have any Fairlife and they don't have Ultra, which is where we used to get Ultra. So I'm going through and I'm looking at it like this. Do they have any of the ultra filtered milk and I find this. Zero sugar. It is Maple Hill Organic, zero sugar, no sweetener, reduced fat milk. So it says 38% less fat than whole milk. And uh, so getting right over to the nutrition label, I double checked it and I'm like, yeah, I don't know about this. So it does say it has, we're gonna get into nutrition, we get to five things. It is sugar free ultra filtered milk with the goodness and the taste of pasture raised organic milk, no antibiotics, no toxic pesticides, and no added hormones. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I feel like this is a unicorn in a bottle. And, and we're gonna give it all the different tests. Right. Well, that like looks like milk. It looks like milk. <laughs> it smells like milk. This indeed came from a cow's udder. I hope it came from a cow's udder. Yeah. Not something not like. Can I taste it now? Yeah, it's your turn. That is interesting. Okay, so that's milk. It is totally milk. And I grew up with skim milk. Mm -hmm. What kind of milk did you grow up with? Skim milk. Skim milk. Because the 80s and 90s. And not only did I grow up with skim milk, we grew up with powdered skim milk. Oh, no. So I feel like this is a cross between, it's like a 2% or 1% milk, right? It's creamier than a skim milk. Oh, it's not a skim. But it, so it, it's got some fat in there, so it's creamier. I, I don't even know. It's It's got a good taste. I like it. It's very good. What's interesting about it is it has a mouthfeel as if it's going to be very rich and creamy. Like it fills yes. up your mouth, like it's very foamy, but then there is no real creamy aftertaste to it because okay. it, you know it's still like a low fat milk. Look what I happened to find when I was cleaning my like den out. <laughs> chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Well, you gotta have chocolate milk, right? So we got pure sugar-free chocolate that came in one of our boxes. We got some milk. Let's see. Did you bring a spoon? Don't use your teeth. I don't have my scissors because we're still under construction here. All right. It will be very bad if it does not dissolve. Like if something weird happens to it when it interacts with other ingredients. Probably should have put this in a blender bottle. Probably. And now I'm making a mess. All over. But you know what's cool? When I was a kid, we used to, we, we didn't have chocolate syrup. We only ever had like the Nestle's Quick kind of stuff, but the imitation ones, not the, not the real stuff. <laughs> you had, you didn't have Barbie, you had Marbie. No, but what I always liked was the little chunks of chocolate that didn't dissolve. Did, oh my were goodness. you like that? No, I wasn't. I want it all dissolved. Oh no, I want to eat the chunks of chocolate. Oh my goodness. I don't even know how you- This is thick. You're stirring it weird. Well, cause I'm afraid to splash it. You have to get down in the bottom. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go with that. Okay, there's a chunk of chocolate for you. Mm -hmm. My turn. Okay, now all the chocolate didn't dissolve because I don't have a good way to mix it in here. That'll work. 
That is delicious. That's like chocolate milk. That, that is good. That is really good. We got one more test. Take another sip of this. Okay. This is the ultimate test. Will it dunk? Perfect keto. Peanut butter cookies. This is really good. Crumbly, crumbly. Here we go. Dink it. Dink. Because once you dunk it, you shouldn't be able to dink it. That's right. It'll fall apart. I should have done it in the chocolate. I know, because peanut butter and chocolate. Now, the peanut butter are the only ones that they have that are better than snickerdoodles. Mm -hmm. this, this video is not sponsored by Perfect Keto, but if you like these, there's a link down below for them. Mm. Oh, my God. Cookies and milk. I want to get some of the chocolate. I mean, you do with what you can with almond milk, but let's face it. You can't drink almond milk. It's It's just... I'm kind of in disbelief right now. Is this really happening? What's in this? Five things. Five things. Five things. If you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number one. Glasses. <laughs> first things first. Number one, let's get to the ingredients. Organic, ultra-filtered, reduced-fat milk, water, and then it's got minerals of potassium chloride, sea salt, tricalcium phosphate, gland gum. That's how they're getting it a little bit thicker. Thicker. That's the. That's and then vitamin A and vitamin D3. So they're not adding anything other than a little bit of gland gum. And let's face it, if you go buy heavy cream, it's going to have gland gum in it, or it's oh, going to yeah. have like carrageenan in it. So. This is no different than getting a heavy cream. And that's why at the front, you have like what feels like filling up your mouth. Yeah. Like, like it's gonna be like super creamy and that must be the gum. But it doesn't taste bad, it, it doesn't. No. Remember we had that one yogurt, I don't remember what <laughs> yogurt it was. It was the too good yogurt and it had all those different gums and it was like a chalky feeling. Yeah. You're not getting that with this. It's not chalky. Number two, does a keto based on a nutrition label, I'll pass that off to you. This is what blew us away. So a cup of it is 80 calories, and mm -hmm. that's really good. That's good. Five grams of fat, eight grams of protein, zero total carbs. Zero. Zero total carbs. That's better than almond milk. Zero sugars. Like what magic is this? <laughs> I know. So let's just say they lie in. And one. there's one. I'm going to go with one. One total carb is still doing pretty flipping awesome. Yeah. I'm 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 kind of impressed. The only thing that I'm concerned about is I don't think this would work with our yogurt. It is not gonna work with the yogurt. We'll get that in a minute, but let's talk about number three. How does it taste? Good and enough. It's it's good, but I have one more test. So hold on for one second. Okay, we actually have two tests. First, this this was an afterthought. Cereal. We gotta go cereal. Yes. But more importantly, for those of us who like to have some higher protein days, maybe doing protein sparing modified fast, well, how about some keto chow? Yes. Because here's the thing, when you do do keto chow, you need a little bit of fat. Right? I think you need t at least 10 grams of fat to be able to absorb all the vitamins. So two cups of this. So this is gonna give you five grams, so at least you can have something. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna use the best flavor there is, a keto chow. <laughs> we're a little bit biased. We're a little biased, but so we're, we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. And uh, let's put a little more in there. Just a splash. You know, I'll go up to the rim. Good. That's about eight ounces. Oof, talk about a mess. Here it goes. Trying to do this without spilling it everywhere. Too late. Almost. Probably should have put it in first. <laughs> he gets excited. I'm super excited. This is unscripted. This, this is, is just milk. He just came up with this idea five seconds ago. I did. Get that off. Oh, all over the floor. Better than on your tablecloth. Yes, true. Shake. Where, where, where's Autumn? She's way better at the shake. You know what we need? A shake weight. Gotta get a shake weight. There we go. 
I hope the lid's still on. Oh, Are you I ready? Hope so too, yes. Like the lid? Taste the chow, like Aaron. Okay, now, let's keep in mind, keto chow is always better if you let it sit for a little while. Mm. That is good. That is good. That is, that is really, really good. good. Uh, that is really good. That is really, how good is that gonna be in a couple of hours? I don't mm. think it's gonna get a couple of hours. Mm. That is good. Okay, you gotta give it the last test, which last is test. cereal. Cereal, we got some high key. This is frosted, basically it's like frosted um, Rice Krispies kind of cereal. Mm -hmm. Only thing we have, oh actually I shouldn't, I, we had other stuff. Okay. I completely forgot we have cereal school somewhere, but we're gonna go high key. Cause I bought this to make Rice Krispies treats and then never did. Looks like Rice Krispies treats. I haven't tasted this one, have you? No, cause you were saving it. Mm, that's freaking delicious. That is good. Okay. Did you hear a snap crackle pop? No, it's completely silent. Yeah. <laughs> it's going, I'm not full sugar. <laughs> I don't really need pop rocks in my cereal. I'm good. Wow. We need to be buying this. <laughs> this is a game changer. It is. This is a game changer. Wow, that is good. I'm amazed. That is really. I am amazed right now. Really, really good. One more. That is amazing. Okay. I am, I am totally like weirded out right now because I did not think that this was a possibility for us. I'm gonna tell you, I feel like we're I'm, talking about taste. I'm doing something wrong right now. As somebody who grew up on skim milk, this is some of the best milk I've ever had. This is really good. Right, I mean, I never drank whole milk as a kid. I mean, that is good. It, it's like drinking milk, like forget the almond milk. And let's face it, almond milk, it's, it's full of chemicals a lot of times, I mean, and it's this is good. I, I'm I can't even talk. I'm I'm amazed. You want to talk about number four. How much does it cost? Okay, so let me give you a little history. We're browsing through Whole Foods. Right. I do 90% of the shopping in this house. So mm -hmm. I know how much everything costs. I also know that on average we spend about $3.99 on almond milk. Right. So I see this. Rachel's behind me. I'm looking for milk for Caleb. I'm looking for milk for yogurt. And I see zero sugar. And I look at Rachel and I'm like, we're doing a review on it. And she goes, $5.99. No, we're not. Yeah, because I was thinking that was super expensive. <laughs> it's $5.99. Okay. That was the regular price. Oh, by the way, okay. I don't think $5.99 is expensive because this is an organic milk. This is a pasture-raised milk. There's no antibiotics. There's no toxic pesticides. There's no hormones in here. And it's sugar-free. And today's date is July 12th, 2021. Mm -hmm. The expiration date on this milk, because it is reduced sugar, September, September 5th. 5th. It will be 2021. past my birthday. So how many times have you gone and bought milk for kids or even bought milk for yourself in the past pre-keto and you get home and you open it up and two days later it's like, done. Ew, gross. Yeah. It's good for three more months. Is that right? Yeah. July, August, September. I, two I, months. Two months. It, is this like an an alien product like where what planet did this come from i i i don't know i mean it says fat content's been reduced from eight to five grams it i mean it's milk. maple hill it's just completely sugar free because they've filtered out all of the sugar which i also believe means they filtered out all the lactose so if somebody was lactose intolerant, they may it doesn't say have a better time that with it's this. lactose free, but like all of your sugars would be in there. 
I, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. It tastes good. I don't think five ninety nine is expensive, especially talk, think about coffee. Oh my god! You gosh. don't want to put heavy cream in your coffee. Maybe you don't want to have yeah. all that, but you want some milk. An entire cup is eighty calories, right? Keto chow, cereal, dunk your it cookies, it. chocolate drink. Okay. Number five. Number five. Would we recommend it? I'm going to recommend it. Yes. With one little exception okay though i haven't tried this i'm going to guarantee you you will not be able to make our yogurt with this why there's no sugar there's no sugar and if you know how you make yogurt you're going to use a live culture which is why we use the fire yogurt and it's going to eat away at the sugars and that's what makes yogurt there's no sugar therefore the cultures have no sugar to thrive on therefore you can't make yogurt with this. They but, can't intermittent fast? No. But if you want to drink milk, if you want some cereal like the High Key or the Cereal School or any of the other ones, if you want to dunk your cookies, if you want to make keto chow, if you want creamer for your coffee, or maybe you just want a good old fashioned cup of milk, I highly recommend this. What about you? I. I'm still like, I can't function yet. I'm so excited that this is here. And I think honestly, this is worth a $6 investment to see if you like it too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. say that again, because I can't believe that's coming out. I was gonna ask you, is it, still, is it worth $6? It so. is totally worth $6. Are we to buying me. this in the future? We are definitely buying it because I honestly, I thought it's gonna taste like butt. Like I did not think it was gonna taste good. As a matter of fact, I really feel bad right now because so Rachel did a service, you know, she preached at church and if you saw it, she had a box of cereal as part of her demonstration and she brought it home and said to the kids, hey, if you want it, you know, we never buy cereal. We just don't bring that stuff in the house. You want to have it? And they're like, yeah, but there's no milk. So we bought them some milk because I bought this though and there's no way they're going to want to drink it. No, but I don't think that the kids are going to know any difference, especially if you're just using it in cereal. So, I mean, talk about a great alternative for families that want to give their kids cow's milk with their cereal. Dude, this is awesome. I'm even thinking about the people who like want milk who are on keto, but they have a nut allergy and they can't have yes. almond milk, Yeah, right? So I think about that. And then I think about recipes that we make that call for milk and you use almond milk and you're like, yeah, nuts. not quite the same, not quite the same because almond milk is kind of watery. Like this is covering all the bases. Yeah. I am super impressed. Is there any way we could become an affiliate of Maple Hill and they could, I guess you couldn't mail it to me, huh? Yeah, I just the, want the cow. This, this, well, I want a cow as a pet, but you won't let me have one. Well, this may be your shot. So, okay. Let us know down in the comment section. Have you tried this milk? Have you been drinking it? Does anybody know what rocket science they're doing to make this milk? Yes. Because I'm not seeing it and... Like, I'm really hoping that somebody's not lying because this is really good and Don't I'm gonna start buying Don't you be lying this. to me. Let us know down in the comments, have you tried it? Do you like it? Do you miss milk? Because if you do, you're gonna wanna definitely pick this up. Again, we found it at Whole Foods, $5.99. Um, I don't know where else you can get it. Definitely let us know down in the comment section if you've seen it in stores other than Whole Foods. It would be awesome if I find out it's like in Walmart or something like that. That would rock like so hard. Easily accessible. Yes. Let us know down in the comments. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, go ahead and check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we find this amazing thing, you'll be alerted to it. Who's eating this? Me. Bye.